Hey everyone, Forrest here with Fofo Astro, and today I want to do a little update on the observatory because it's been a few months and luckily I have everything fully operational. So let's talk a little bit about that. Let's get into what's new with my kind of astro journey um, and talk a little bit about what you guys can expect here moving forward uh, with this channel. So first thing is I feel kind of weird making promises on this channel because I've done that so many times and I haven't lived up to them. So first of all, I'm sorry to those of you who followed me for a long time. You know that I have made way more promises than I have kept when it comes to regular uploads and doing things like that. With that said, I do want to update you guys on what, where we are right now. So as I just said, this observatory is fully functional. The dome rotates, the shutter opens, it's controlled from my house, which is behind the camera. It's awesome, which is super great. And it actually, I finished it up last weekend. I'm super excited, Friday night, I got a whole sequence loaded in, got it all ready, and I hit the go button in Sequence Generator Pro. First time imaging in over a year, mind you, like very exciting times, and I watch on my camera that's watching everything and the dome slews the mount slews and i take the first picture and the picture is of the dome the dome did not slew to the right position so it didn't allow uh the telescope didn't line up with the slit in the mount in the dome um, and i realized that the the instruction manual that is provided with the next dome listed the radius wrong in the book it actually listed the diameter and not the radius even though it said the radius let that be a precursor to my next dome review, which is going to be coming out as my next video, because um, let's just say that as a theme of things with an observatory like this one. So anyway, Saturday night, got that fixed, went out, everything worked perfect Saturday. The slit aligned perfectly, everything slewed, it was beautiful. It brought a tearlet to my eye. I was so happy that everything was working. And then my first test exposure comes through, and lo and behold, my Apogee U8300 camera, the uh, argon purged vacuum chamber that the sensor lives in, so there's no condensation when the sensor cools itself, has failed, and I have condensation and water droplets all over my sensor when it's cooled. So that was a huge bummer to get, kind of go through this year of transitioning into this new observatory, um, just to have that happen. So anyway, that's where we're at right now. Um, I mailed my camera off today back to Andor, the company that bought Apogee for them to re-purge my sensor and make it work again. Um, but hopefully that will be back in the next couple months. In the meantime, I am thinking about getting a different camera. Um, my Stellar View telescope will support a full frame sensor. So I've bounced around the idea of getting like uh, an ASI 6200, um, which is a full frame 60 megapixel beautiful camera that would be a good match for my 80 millimeter refractor. But we'll see, I'll keep you guys posted on that. Obviously review to come if that happens. Uh, but that's where we're at, I can't observe. This works, it works perfectly, which is why I'm gonna spend the time building the review because while I wait for a camera, what better to do than review this telescope or this dome and how it works. Um, but definitely be post be looking for that in the next few weeks. Take that with a grain of salt though. You guys know how I am with regular uploads. It's not always something that I get to as often as I want to. Anyway, I miss this. I miss seeing all of you guys. Sorry about the regular uploading uh, kind of timeline that I have not been able to achieve in my life. Um, it's just been too busy. I do want to introduce you to my cat because he is walking over right now. This is Peppy and he's super cool. Come here, Peps. Peppy's never been featured, uh, but Peppy is an outdoor cat. He was an indoor cat back when he, back when we were at our old house and he, is a happy little kitty. He wanders around and loves the outside. So that's Peppy, our other cat is Apollo, and he does not leave the house. He's a very scared little cat. Anyway, thank you all. I'll see you in the next video. I hope you guys all have clear skies and enjoy shooting, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.